Hi guys and welcome to another edition of Burton Ballers and in today's video we're going to be previewing our upcoming game against Leicester City but before I get into that guys you know the drill please like, subscribe, turn on all post notifications so you'll be notified every time I make a new video. Welcome to the Burton Ballers Ain't got no time for no stallers, yeah. We are the risers, we're the performers. Our channel is growing wider and taller. Yeah, we're here to give you the news about your dear beloved blues, yeah. So if you like this YouTube channel, like, subscribe and turn on that bell. Yeah. So... Guys, um, this is my third video since getting back on the recovery trail from um, COVID. Um, getting stronger by the day and hopefully I'll be fighting fit by the end of the week. So I'm going to try and keep this brief as well because I don't really want to do too much talking. So this is a big must-win game. We had a, you know, a ugly win against Fulham at the weekend, but points are points. And this will go a long way. This game will go a long way to seeing whether we're going to be playing in the Champions League next season or not. Leicester are currently six points ahead of us at the table. A win against Leicester and we close the gap to three points. A defeat and it's nine points. And the way our form is at the moment, then I can't see us coming back. Because it's not only Leicester that we'll be um, looking to catch. It'll be the likes of Tottenham. Tottenham as well and Everton. Southampton probably are going to be tailing off a bit now but um, yeah because I, I, as I said it before I think that the, the top three is already cemented the two Manchester clubs and Liverpool I think are going to be the top three so it's one team fighting out for the fourth space. <clears throat> Um, just listen to Frank Lampard's press conference and the bad news is that Angolo Kante is out still. He's, he's damaged his hamstring and he's not going to be fit enough to return. Um, and I'm not sure if it's good news or bad news that Christensen's back in contention. But yeah, Christensen's going to be available for selection as well. Um, on the Leicester front, um, Brendan Rodgers has confirmed that Jamie Vardy is going to be fit. If anyone watched the match the other day, um, they saw him limp off towards the end of the game with a hip injury. But um, Rodgers said that they'll be, he'll be fit. Um, so the game, I think Leicester, uh, it'll be interesting to see how they juggle their side because um, they... They've got a smaller squad than Chelsea. They played a strong um, uh, team in their last out in, in their um, victory the other day. So whether they're going to be going with the same 11 or not, I don't know. Whether they're going to, the energy levels are going to be there, that's another thing. So it'll be interesting to see you know, what side Brendan Rodgers picks. I think because this is like a big win and knowing that if they can beat Chelsea, they, that's one less rival, then I think he's going to go relatively strong tomorrow. Um, so now um, moving on to my team selection. Um, for the game, so um, it's obviously Mendy and goal. Um, Reese James was on the bench the other day, and I think he's going to be back in contention. Uh, nothing what I've seen about Aspilicueta, especially going forward, has given me any confidence. You know, his crossing has been awful. As I tweeted the other day, he has difficulty crossing the road, not just crossing the football, and um, his defending as well is on the wane as well. Um, he was getting roasted time and time again down that, down that um, right hand side and so I think hopefully um, Rhys James is fully fit so that he can come back into this position because he's been one of the plus points for this season. Um, I was I was I was kind of um, bemused at the fact that he played Thiago Silva at the weekend because obviously due to his age is he going to be play, playing two games of a week? So for this game, um, I think we do need him. So I'm hoping that he's he's fit enough to be able to play this second game in the week. And um, I think we were holding back Zuma because of his pace and the way that he can handle Vardy um, toe to toe. So Zuma is going to be back into the side. Um, and 
Um, ben Chilwell, there's going to be a big match for Ben Chilwell because Ben Chilwell's coming up against his old club, so he'll need to prove himself. He's, he's been hit and missed the last few days, a few games actually after his injury, um, but um, he's, he's it's a no-brainer. He's, he's the best left back we've got at the club at the moment, so he slots in in that position. Um, the fact that Kante's out, I think Frank is going to go with Jorginho, but I'm doing what I think I would like to go with, and I'd like to go with Billy Gilmore. Billy Gilmore is, offers us a bit more. He moves the ball around a lot quicker, and he's more forward-thinking than Jorginho. Um, I know people say that Jorginho's got that leadership, which we lack in the side, but Jorginho, but um, with Gilmore, Gilmore's a bit of a talker as well. He's quite vocal, and um, I think now is the time to start integrating him into the side. So I'm hoping that we play um, Gilmore in a pivot. And I'd like to see Havertz on the on the, on the um the right of, uh, in the number eight role i know a lot of people are saying he's not in form at the moment but i just feel that with his bit more energy um leicester are not going to sit back a lot they'll come at you a bit as well so that will give Havertz a bit more room to operate in and i haven't liked what i've seen with Kovacic this season he's just been very inconsistent in his play so I, and i think i don't think although um, Havertz hasn't shone as much as people like. I still think tactically, he's very tactically, tactically disciplined. So I'd like to see him in that role. It's obvious that Mason Mount's going to play on, as in, at the other number eight. Doesn't miss any games on the Frank. He's being consistent. Hopefully he doesn't, he's, not, he's not getting burnt out. But um, yeah, so that's, that's a no-brainer on the other side as the number eight. Um, this is my preference as well. I think Frank, and it's going to be interesting to see this one with Frank Lampard because it we're looking at form and meritocracy. Um, Hudson Adoy needs to play on the left. Hudson Adoy has played some standout games in the last three or four games, and he has to play tomorrow. Um, I've got nothing against Pudisic, but Pudisic, since his, he's come up from his injury, he hasn't hit the ground running. He hasn't hit those heights of last season. And if we're looking at based pure, purely on form, then for me, Hudson Adoy has to play ahead of Pulisic. And I'm hoping that Frank Lampard does that. And the other thing is as well, because of Pulisic's hamstrings, Frank Lampard has already said that he needs to manage him properly. And um, and with with his with his um, injury record, um, playing a good game three days after the first game, it may have a long-term effect on, on that hamstring. So I'm just hoping that Frank Lampard does the right thing tomorrow and plays Callum Hudson Adoy. <coughs> Um, on the other side, um, Ziyech. I think Ziyech, he's, it's a pity that his season's been stop and start because of injury. Because once the players get on his wavelength, I think we can see good things from him. He's still our best deliverer of the ball, great crosser of the ball. And he tries to take shots. A lot of times it didn't work out the other day, but at least he's trying to do something and take shots from distance because none of our other players seem to be wanting to do that. So... Um, so yeah, so I just think I'm hoping that he can get a nice run and a bit of a rhythm, and and so that he can sort of get back into uh, that sort of form that we know that he, he's capable of. And up front, I'm going with Tammy tomorrow because I think um, with the likes of Evans, who's a bit slower nowadays, he's not as mobile. I think the movement of Tammy is the, his enthusiasm, the way he runs the channels, can open up spaces um, in the Leicester defence. So that's why I'm, I'm looking to go for him. Um, Giroud is, obviously we know he's a good target man, but a bit more static. And as we know with um, Ferner, he's in no sort of form whatsoever. So he's better off coming off the bench or something. So we can't really play him into form. We're not in a position to be playing him into form at the moment. So that is my starting 11 for the game for tomorrow. Um, Scoreline... I think last under Frank, Frank and Brendan, they have never won against each other. There's always been draws and I'm going for another draw. I'm going for a 1-1 draw in this game. Over to you guys now. Um, team selection. What do you think of my team selection? What, who would you have in there instead? And what do you think the score prediction would be? Stick your comments below. So don't forget guys to like, subscribe, turn on all post notifications so you'll be notified every time I make a new video. I may come back with a little transfer one on the Harden situation a bit later today. So watch out for that one. Yeah, a double for me from... <laughs> you see that definitely shows that I'm kind of getting back 
on my feet again. So take care guys and I'll see you later. Bye.